Hello everyone, Boaster here with a Brimstone Molotov guide and this is for the map split. So the first place we want a Molotov is the cubby, so you jump onto this bush here, come to here and you just kind of aim there. And that flies in nice and easy. And it's actually probably one of the best Molotovs for this angle because it covers such a large radius. What it does mean though is that your team will have to rush on without you. So another way of uh, avoiding this is doing it from a different position which is here. So obviously you have to kind of be careful of this angle and this angle. But hopefully if you have a cipher it would be pretty easy. All you have to do is cipher maybe cameras there, spots upper and maybe does a cage there so you guys can cross. You can't really be the first one to peek and line it up, you kind of have to put pressure towards upper so then the upper guy isn't facing here and then what you do is you line this wall up with here like so. It's a bit riskier but I think you can get away with it in solo queue and then you aim here dead center in, in the middle of this rectangle here and it's like a burst molotov so you can do this molotov and then see if anyone swings out then you've actually cleared this side so you know that no one's down there they can still be up there however and like everywhere else on the site I think it's a good one but I don't think it's the most vital Molotov for a site alright so next Molotov is on the ledge so similar position what you do is you put yourself into this plant pot here and then you bring the top part of your E spell you know your E has like four dots you bring the top dot so you go from here but then you go across to this in the middle of this blue bit so here like so and that will molotov nicely in the upper parts I hope yeah so this molotovs the upper parts just in case you ever wanted to use it it's kinda handy and it means the enemy will have to either drop down and you can hear a sound cue or you will swing out and you can kind of hold him once again these are all situational and they're mainly better for either getting one pick if you feel like the enemy is going to be there like especially if they have bad buy or therefore when your your teammates are actually running in the next molotov is for elbow and i think this is the most important molotov so second tile across you come to here and you put your right dot of your e onto this thing right here you put it like so boom and you click Molly. and that will land nicely into elbow i say this is the most important molotov spot Mainly because if you say, let's say you have upper smoked, let's say you have CT smoked, elbow is mainly the place where the sniper would play and he should be able to get one pick and then fall back. However, if you molotov this, it puts urgency on him, he now is denied info, he'll have to run around to here and take this angle or he'll have to stay here like so and by then you'll be pushing up on the site and hopefully you'll be, it'll be easier to trade the sniper. Um, now the next two molotovs I'm going to show you are kind of like situational, if you think the enemy is going to be playing backside or if you've planted backside and you're just so happen to be here with a molotov spare, then what you do is you come into this plant pot and you put your E in the middle of this flat, this light and this wood like so boom nice and easy behind sight that will molotov the whole of the back of sight if you think an enemy is playing there Rainers like to play there because her eyeball is quite strong her like blind is quite strong behind that post the next molotov you can do is the same position but you bring the line you know the line in between the Q and the E you bring it up to this blue line here so same but then you go up to the blue Hi. line boom and now molly this cubby, if you ever needed to molly this. These two situational, I think. I was thinking about Molotovs in middle, but I actually don't know any. I mean, the best thing to do when you're at middle is, I'd say, is to have people walk from this side, and then you smoke left side middle. Because you can come here, and I don't think the enemy can see you if he is in rope room. And it puts a lot of pressure for the guy in rope rooms, because he might be holding here, and here, it's a bit awkward, I don't think he sees you if you're crouched, so like, smoking this off is better because it denies them more information. And generally you have more players towards this position, so smoking here is like, oh, oh shit, what do I do? I'll throw my utility. And generally you have a sage here, like putting a wall now, because they've opened up middle, so it's a lot harder to control. Alright, moving on to the B-bomb site. There's not many Molotovs to do there, however I have found one, which I did have in that position, then I changed it to that position, then I changed it to that position, that position. Now I found it in this position because Riot's updated something where none of these positions work anymore, so now I found it in this position. Uh, keep in mind though, a Cypher is going to be playing there, so if you are planning to do a B-execute, you have to clear his traps. Um, or you have a jet that can dash through them, that also works. So what you do is you come to here and you 
kind of like make this line up like so and then you aim at so there's a balcony with the wooden bit there's a balcony underneath it you aim at this shadow line here around dead center there and what that does it bounces like that it goes through there bounces and boom lands there which the enemy can't be here they have to face out and they have to face into you brimstone smoke isn't very good for upper so you might need two but like say upper smoked you've mollied there maybe this is also smoked I don't know, it's just an idea. You chuck a flash out here, and you clear this angle, clear this angle, and they, they can't be hidden here, so if they are hidden there, they'll be there now, and then you wrap the site kind of thing. I think it could be a pretty good pretty good idea. Now, another Molotov you can do is in this position, and you put your E right dot, like, on this little circle here, like so, and that Molotov's upper. So if you wanted to do a strat where you needed a Molotov upper, or you don't want the enemies rotating as fast, then that is also good. Like, say if you smoke, I don't know, here. Then they won't be able to face, I don't think. So this is, yeah, they oh, they can actually maybe see if you go on the back wall, but other than that, they can't see it a lot. And they can't push through either. Other than that, I think you'll need afterplant molotovs. And the one I found is at this bin. And you put your right dot right here, your E here, like so. Uh, not Maybe not in the middle, but like in line with the left-hand side of this. Like so, like there. Boom. Bounce. Hit the box. Boom. And that covers everything around this area. Now, I haven't tested if the enemies can defuse it here. They might be able to defuse it, but it could be close as well. Especially if you plant in the cubby. I got a feeling they can't defuse it. Another Molotov you can do is like, tend to, if you tend to plant in default spot, you use this sign and you bring this sign like in line with the building and in line with the house. And you kind of aim here like not on the roof just under the roof and it should fly through and it bounces off here boom boom and it's quite a nice spread as well and it spreads to there like so now bear with me on this one i'm kind of making this up as i go along but let's pretend the enemy is taking the site and you're like oh shit like they've taken the site what you can do i reckon if you smoke here down. you smoke here you put your midway between there you Hi. molotov there this stops the plant and you just swing I reckon that could be quite good. Another retake Molotov is coming into this corner. Let's just hope they don't have CT control. In the middle of this white line, and then there's like a triangle of this flower, and you kind of aim there. Molly. And I think that lands quite nicely in elbow, but like nice and deep. Yeah, it's a nice deep elbow Molotov right there. If you want to do it on a fly, I guess Molly. you can just bang it off like that. Slightly deeper on your end, but it doesn't cover as much on this side, which is my only concern. Like, in this game, like, you can have stuff that looks good, like, when no one's on the server, but when enemies are throwing abilities back at you, it kind of stops anything you have in mind anyway, so... It's just good to try stuff, I'd say. I think that's it for Brimstone Molotovs on Split. Let me know if you want to see any more of this on like a different agent or on another map and I'll go and find you some stuff. The best way to know if it works is to go and test it and try it out and modify it and etc. And that's the fun of it as well. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.